Hey everybody, my name is Al. I'm a DevRel at Alchemy, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use Alchemy's custom webhooks in order to unlock real-time blockchain data. Let's go to alchemy.com and sign into our dashboard. Anything webhooks related will be under notify. So if you didn't already know, Alchemy does support standard webhooks. This means we've looked at popular use cases and created standardized data responses in webhook format for them. For example, address activity, you get notified whenever an address sends slash receives ETH or any token. It's really easy to create that standard webhook. All you need to do is input the address that you want to listen to. And then Alchemy asks you for the webhook URL that basically where do you want that data sent once the event is triggered. We can get a sense of how that data looks using webhook.site. It's a popular site to test webhooks and we'll hit test webhook. Now we get back this payload and this is a sample of what we get back when that address activity hook hits. Now, something that empowers developers even further is being able to format this data payload however they want. In comes custom webhooks. You'll now notice there's a brand new GraphQL node in this Notify interface. To create a custom webhook, hit create webhook here, and you'll notice the input that it's asking for is actually now the GraphQL schema. This means developers can format the data however they want and how it most fits into their broader DAP backend and frontend structure. Developers can not only choose what events to listen to, but how to filter them and how to format that data to best serve their dev needs. We also have a bunch of templates. For example, the Board Ape NFT activity, you'll notice that GraphQL schema changes. You can get all the events submitted by the Board Ape NFT contract, USDC approval, that schema changes. We could do the webhook site to see how that looks. It's just gonna be a payload pertinent to how we structure it, right? This is editable. We can do whatever we want here pertinent to GraphQL. What we did is set up a quick server on REPL and we'll make this available to everybody and set up a route using the Uniswap swap events template. So we've set up this route on a live server and this is actually what that looks like, that route, right? We have a server listening for our webhook and we've subscribed it. Now we receive that, that data in the format that we decided is best, we parse it and now we have the ability to store it in our own DBs. And now since we can store that data in our own DBs, we can, we can do much more creative stuff in our dApps, for example, index that data in real time. This is super powerful, guys. You'll be able to feed your dApp data as if you were directly querying the blockchain, but you're actually querying your own database. I'm super excited to see all the use cases that you guys come up with on custom webhooks.